players. We got the first place Super Daniel. You got 10th place at Nationals, and today you got first with Sean Martin. We got first place with Majin Buu today. Look at that, Majin Buu. And you won yourself a booster box. He got himself the Bag. Ultimate Guard Bag Vago Journey Backpack. Perfect, man. Perfect day. So show off what you are playing. So today for locals, I decided to play Majin Buu. Uh, it's a set leader from set 14. So on attack, uh, you put one of your life under him and then you draw two. So uh -huh. that's amazing draw power. Uh, he has a spirit boost effect where you could remove a marker and then choose one of your opponent's battle cards and uh, draw. Uh, with four cost or left and put it under him and then you could choose one of the keyword skill and, and use it, like gain it. Nice. Uh, awaken at four, untap draw one and then on the flip. Boom, Majin Buu. Auto once per turn when he attacks, draw one. Uh, act, same activate main as in the front side, but this time you could choose cards from the battle area. And then the last activate main, put two cards under him to gain 5k until the start of your next turn. Nice, I saw you do that, that's pretty good. Yeah, in the final. And he has that cool pyramid man, freaking flexing. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Alright, for a deck list, I played four of the Bobbity Unison, uh, mandatory in the deck. So, uh, Servant, if you, have a, if you control the Servant card, uh, they can attack into it, so it has good defense. Uh -huh. Auto when you get when you remove a marker from it through a spirit boost, he gains Overlord, which comes like when you're pushing for a game to try to draw another card. And then plus two, choose one of your four draw mo choose one of your 15k or less Majin Buu with Servant and it gains Servant. Okay, so give Servant to the card? Yeah, so it, it's how you protect it and then yeah. you don't need to play any other units other than this. Alright, alright. So, what else you got? For one draw, we maxed out. Uh, four and four? Yeah, so this one draws one, this one looks at top five, adds any Majin. Uh, they both have a union absorb where you could look, so you absorb one from under the leader, so the synergy right there, and then you play something out with a four cost and 15k power. So you only have one target in the deck, but you need to open these in your starting hand, or now you can't you can be playing. Yeah, so you need to absorb, and these guys absorb, so that makes sense. Yeah. And then like another absorber is the uh, Bupo. Okay. So it's just another way, and it's a floodgate, if anything. Okay. Bupo, it's funny how you call them Bupo. Yeah. So explain that Majin Buu for the people that don't know. So you, for two energy, you can negate the attack, and then when it comes into play, you could discard one card, and if you do, uh, your opponent can no longer attack unless they discard two cards from hand. Nice. So it stops your opponent from attacking, right? Yeah, pretty much stopped their whole turn. Nice. That card got you a W, man. Got me a W in finals. Then your four drop, your target. Uh, so as an evolve, which never comes up, but permanent if you if you control a ghost token you could when this card gets removed uh, you could just get rid of the token then auto he searches out your unison but what if you do you just discard one and then spirit boost uh you play a matcha boost token yep and you could take up to one life so it helps you awaken get consistency and, and yeah you, you spam that guy out like crazy i saw that yeah you could spam out a bunch in one turn but the token making is limit one so only one per turn okay uh, for the other Majin Buu, we played two of Majin Buu Ultimate Despair. Uh, same permanent as the other four draw Majin Buu. And then when it's played, uh, you make a token and then you could absorb one of your opponent's cards. So, and then you could bring it out for two energy if you control three or more green energy. And if you, and you by detaching one from under the battle card. Okay, okay. So this helps out against your Sin Shenron matchup. Because if you steal their 9 drop, uh, you draw two. And then bring it out, get rid of the board, and make a token. Nice. It makes, it's an aggressive play. Uh, your left, last resort. Uh, this is searchable in the deck, so you only need one. If, if, go, if, deck, if there's a game that's not going your way, you just play this for five, nuke the board, and have your tokens out, and just push, push, push. And that makes sense. Uh, four super combos, no need, no need for explanation. Okay, four super combos. Uh, four charismatics, need to play the counterplay. Counterplay. Two is the Masu. Two? Yeah. I mean, if you're playing charismatic, two is minimum what you need. Uh, swing, discard one. Pretty good play. 
begin out by killing the, the Frieza. Yeah. And then for a little package, we play four Son Goku Spirit Bomb Unleashed and uh -huh. then three Pickle Special Beam on Cannon Unleashed. Ooh, explain that little combo. So you start it off by Goku. So for one energy, you can bring him out and remove a marker from Unison. And then he has a Spirit Boost X. So by removing X amount of counters, that's how much 5k power he gets. And then if you remove two or more, uh, he gains double strike. But you only do it to remove one marker to get him 20k to bring out Piccolo. And with Piccolo, uh, you bring it out for free if you control 20k Goku. And then after that, you could KO your Goku to KO either one card on the field or uh, two cards or less, ignoring barrier, and then you make your opponent discard two cards. Yeah, I saw that. The discard two is pretty darn good. That's a little nice combo. Love it. Yeah. That was my favorite spice of the deck. So for one energy, you get two 20k bodies. Pretty good. Uh, one Gohan, if you need barrier removal on the deck, that's what it struggles with that. So it's kind of mandatory, and you're at low life always. Okay. Uh, for one of uh, Double Strike, Bardock, and Pan. Woo! Sheesh! These are your one ofs? Yeah. Why this secret rare, Pan? Uh, you spam off the board, so if anything, you can also bring it out for free for another 40k swing. And then there's a lot of aggro decks in the format, so just negating like battle card attack for the rest of the turn is very beneficial. Damn, um, okay. And then Bardock? Bardock is the best overall aggro. You could replace it with uh, Secret Identity to get remo more removal. And then Double Strike is Double Strike. And Double Strike to go for game if you have to. Yeah. All right. And for negate packages, it's three Doorman, three Shocky, and two Homicidal. All right. Uh, three Doorman. I, I never want to play four because uh, you discard a lot, and then so you don't want to lose like hand advantage either. Uh, two homicidal. Uh, I think two is like the right ratio for this deck because this deck doesn't need doesn't have removal, so you need a two death ball and it's a sparky negate, which you fill up the drop easily. Okay. And that's it. And there you have it. First place winning deck, Super Daniel. Congratulations, you won yourself a booster box, you won yourself a bunch of stuff. If you guys want to uh, uh, check it out, we got the, he got the Ultimate Guard, backpack. Ultimate Guard backpack, and he's gonna get himself a booster box and everything. Go to your locals, guys. Any quick shout outs to Super Daniel? Uh, shout out to, Abe, to my brother Abel. Uh, he, honestly, he, he built the, the base for the deck, and then I just upgraded it. Nice. And then shout out to Super Players, like always, helping out. Like helping out the community always, streaming every Wednesday here at GX Gamer, so always check that out. Uh, shout out to Pyramid for the sick ass map. And then shout out to Ultimate Guard for the backpack, sleeves, and everything. And there you have it, guys. Like what we say, y'all say, super. super. Looks like this is going to be tougher than we thought. Yeah, I can't wait. Ready, battle, bro. Blow up people.